Okay, so welcome everyone. I'm really honored to be with Omar Gomez from the Certified Campbell Practitioners International. And it's lovely to be kind of doing a recap, Omar, because uh, before I spoke with you and we hadn't, I hadn't done the course, so I didn't know what to expect. And my God, what a life-changing experience. And uh, it's almost like for people who kind of are taken to the point with when their health gives them initiations, it's like a ticket to life back again. There's no words for that. There's yeah, no what a what a what a beautiful course we had in the Azores and amazing people and the energy of the land and watching all of your transformations and, and all the students and yours uh, particular, you, you embraced it and you really, really were able to sit very beautifully with this medicine to be a carrier of this medicine. And that was a beautiful, beautiful thing to partake in and to witness. Thanks, Omar. Yeah, I remember wiggling a lot, <laughs> trying to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, force me in. <laughs> right. Yeah, That's and I remember that we had the, the little mini hurricane that came through and the storm That's with right. the full moon. Yeah. That's right, because that was, I remember that really clearly. And that was Friday the 13th, and I was working on goddess clearing. Goddess oh, right. stuff, and then this huge store, and Cat, and Cat, who's a goddess anyway, was giving me that ceremony. Yeah, very amazing. So, Omar, just to recap, for people who haven't watched the other one, I just had a quick look up. It's fascinating, your story, you know, and, and the way you came, a bit similar to mine, you know, from the marine technical scuba diving and all that work, and, and, um, you know, you mentioned your journey hitchhiking and just maybe recap people here on the, the the amazing story with ayahuasca and the contract and then the motorbike accident. Sure. And, uh, yeah. So I was born in um, Mexico, Mexico City. So I'm a Mexican native. And after that, we actually moved to Scotland and I've lived in five, six different countries around the world. Um one of those places that I lived was Cozumel, Mexico, and I owned a scuba dive shop and I was teaching people how to do technical scuba diving and uh, cave diving. And uh, my life kind of hit a dead end. And um, I, I hit my midlife crisis when I was young and I grabbed the backpack and started hitchhiking through Central and South America. And um, a year and a half later, while I was hitchhiking, I ended up in Iquitos, Peru, went deep into the uh, jungle and studied with one of the most powerful shamans that's ever lived. Her name is Norma Panduro. And um, during one of the visions, uh, during one of the ceremonies in the visions, I was told by uh, Mother Aya that I was going to build a healing center. And that was my contract that I had to sign the dotted line and build this healing center. And she was going to always take care of me and my family. Uh, fast forward to the year uh, 2009, I was uh, managing a law firm in the United States. So I went from scuba diving to law and I was managing a law firm in the United States. And um, I was riding my motorcycle from Chicago to Dallas. I was hit. Um, I was hit, well, actually, I hit a um, horse trailer. He ran the light, and I hit the horse trailer, and uh, going, I would say, 100 kilometers an hour, 110, 55 miles an hour, was helicopter helicopter evacuated to um, the trauma unit. And during that time that I was under the morphine, the mother vine said, the reason why you're alive is that you have to build this healing center. So in the year 2011, I went down to the Amazon and I spent eight years of my life, day and night, working in the Amazon and studying with the spirits and studying with the most powerful shamans that probably have ever, uh, you know, been in, in, in Peru, in that part of the upper Amazon. And I did a lot of master plant diets. And one of the things that I was able to do was... Um, I was able to dive into Cambo. The first time I did Cambo was when I just first started building the healing center. And one of our uh, guardmen, our, our watchmen, 
um, was matse. Matses are the holders of this beautiful sacred medicine. They are the ones that they originally received the message from the frog, from the spirits. There's a legend about the Shaman Kampu, which you learned very well in your course, that would, that um, he was trying to heal his tribe. He was trying to heal this tribe. What we have to remember is that the missionaries, the Spanish missionaries, they brought a lot of infections and diseases that the natives didn't know how to cure with, with herbs and plants. So they were at a loss here and they were dying off. And so Shaman Kampu sat underneath the tree with Mother Aya. And she told him about the frog and uh, the spirit of Cambo came down. The spirit of Akate, that's how you say uh, Cambo and Matse. Um, the Kate came down and said, I'm going to heal your people. And that's why the Matse tribe is the biggest. Now, there are many different tribes in the Amazon that practice Cambo or Akate. But the biggest one is the Matses. The Matses span over two territories. Portugal, I'm mean, sorry, uh, Peru and Brazil, which speak Portuguese. So in Peru, they speak Spanish and the uh, Brazilians speak Portuguese. And they are the biggest, fiercest tribe yet. And what's really important to really understand is that a lot of people that are practicing Cambo have never received the lineage, nor have they, re nor have they gone Deep, deep, deep. And when I say going into Matse territory, you have to you have to rent a military airplane, fly an hour and a half, land on a dirt runway, jump on a canoe boat, powered boat, canoe powered, like a dugout, and go seven hours up rivers to get to their land, their 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 their, their land. And you have to be invited. You can't just show up and say, hi, I'm here. You have to go with a Matse elder. You have to have a connection. The first time I went, I went with some friends and we went to explore the area and to build, sit with the medicine. And then I wanted to go for the second time to really be initiated. And I wanted to get their blessing to be able to carry this medicine. And if you don't have the blessing from the Matseis, then you're 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 kind of taking it away from them. You're 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 not giving, you're not honoring the medicine in a proper way. It's uh, you know, as we were talking about earlier, it's it's the meat and the bones. It's 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 you can't you know I can't just I can't just take a medicine without honoring the tradition and. You know, what, what we don't want to do is that we don't want to use a medicine. We want to work with the medicine. And it's about integrity. It's about respect. It's about honor and safety. And sure, yeah, yeah go ahead. No, sorry, I just was saying I feel that here. I could feel what you were saying. Absolutely. Like, I'm just to, to, to I, I really want to um, say to the people, whoever listens and watches this, when I received the lineage, the room was filled with Matsi spirits. And I didn't really understand lineage because lineage, there's a calling where people, you know, the shamanic people can have a calling where they get this pull from their heart or however it comes, you know, frogs up the wall, hearing frogs, you know, the frogs swallowing you. That to me is the spiritual calling, the, oh, oh gosh, I love this medicine, the, the pull. But, but some people really aren't understanding that there's a physical ancestral lineage that brings the help right down beside us into humanness, which is what we are. We're all spirits on this journey. But what you've just said is so profound. And, and I really want to thank you on behalf of the whole of the Campbell community. Well, I mean this, Omar, because you had to really work for that lineage. And there's no mm -hmm. way I could have done what you did. I couldn't have done it. And I feel this is why the frog led me to you for the teachings because I asked the frog. So thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Well, thank you for listening to the call and thank you for entrusting me. And it's funny enough that you were saying that because um, I was just teaching a course last week with some beautiful individuals, some beautiful students. And we were about to do the, the ceremony where I infuse them with the initiation, right? We're about to initiate them, which is a transference from 
the Matse lineage from, from, from me to them, right? So I'm just a vessel. I just carry the lineage. And what the Matse has instructed me to do is to put the lineage into other people. But it's really their energy. And it's got nothing to do with me. I'm just like a glass. I'm just a container. And I'm sitting there explaining to the students, well, you remember the the, the, the dose, a very, very yeah. strong I still dose. Want the <laughs> A very strong dose, and it's only uh, to be done for initiation. And I said, I'm going to start evoking the spirits. I'm going to start evoking the elders, the matzes. And as soon as I said that, the room, everybody was like, wow, what just happened? And everybody could just feel the spirits within that room of the elders there in the ceremony. It was very, very powerful. So I like to always to say, it's, you know, it's not really me, right? It's not, I'm not just a regular guy. It's the, it's the Matseis and the elders that really do all the work and it's their lineage and it's their medicine, right? We also have to understand that it's their medicine. And whenever we're working with a medicine, we have to have permission. We have to have permission from the elders not only from the spirits, but from the elders to be able to work with this medicine. And the true keepers of the spirits are the elders. Yes. Yeah, yeah beautiful. And uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, what you're saying about being a vessel is just so true. Um, but again, you know, when you describe what you went through to get the lineage as a human being, I know I couldn't have done it. Like it was, they were really, really pushing you to the limit. Was it, how long was it in the jungle again you were there with them? I was in the jungle for three, for three months. I was in the jungle. I was deep in the jungle. And yeah, they didn't, you know, they, they, they thought that I was just doing it for financial gains or they thought that I just wanted to experiment. So they, every day they thought that I was going to go home because every day they gave me a test and they pushed me and pushed me and I would, you know, we would get dosed right at sunset before they would go hunting and and they, you know, they would dose me and they would just say, okay, come, come with, you know, follow us. And I would be barefoot, vomiting, bottom purging. And they would be yelling at me to be quiet while they were shooting monkeys or, you know, catching uh, other animals. And every day they're like, okay, you're, are you ready to go home? And I said, no, no. And I just, I had to push and push and I had to show them that I really wanted to learn. And then one night around the fire, you know, the elders said, okay, you know, we, 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 we believe that you're here for the right reason. So now we're going to teach you. And they taught me the proper way. You know, there's different levels to anything on this earth, right? Even in dimensions, right? This is the third dimension. There's the fifth dimension. We can even go all the way into the 12th dimension. And there's different levels of working with this medicine. And unless you've sat with the Matses and unless you really have that lineage, you're just at that level, you know, that you're on that surface level. Right. Meaning I can sure you can find a video on YouTube on how to serve this medicine. But number one, it's not going to be safe. Number two, you know, you could really hurt somebody. Um, and number two, um, you're not going to go as profound as you can with this medicine, as you know very well. And, you know, I know this and we've heard this over and over that sometimes people say, that Cambo journey was more was was deeper than any ayahuasca ceremony I've ever had, and that's how to work with this medicine because it's it, it's it's a special way that you that el only the elders will teach you. It's a special way that the elders are going to infuse within you. So when I teach, I I I, I channel that energy and I teach that and I infuse it into the students. It's beautiful, Omar, and the way you are, you know, so high on safety. And I just want to say to the people who aren't familiar with Cambo, you know, this is one of the sticks I've got from you. And it's got the little black dots, you know, for the female. But this stick, boy, is it powerful. So I have actually experienced a stick mixed with egg white. So I had, I think, 12 dots. And, you know, on your course, I was fainting on three. Now, on this one, I faint with, with one. I have to remove it at 10. It's so powerful. And, you know, the little tamashi vine that, that you use to, to, to make it hot and then take off the the top layer of skin. So Omar, also in your amazing manual, you know, when you do the course, you get this amazing manual full of information 
of everything you could know. And I just want to show people, you know, this is another point that I loved about the course, because when, when, the, when I feel like anything you do from your heart that really has spirit behind it, there's so much teachings there. And I've noticed my own evolution, spiritual evolution, it's like an embodiment of spirit. Now, I'm, I'm, my mind is putting words on something that I feel. It's like a, a skyrocketed um, boost to your spiritual evolution and to your health that I feel is, is sometimes a little hard to describe. But this here alone is just some of the lists of the contraindications that Omar will go through with you, with you on the course which I found amazing and really, really, really important. So, Omar, let's just, uh, let's just see where we can go to help people understand. Uh, yeah. I think, I think just maybe we could touch on, you know, the amount of amazing things that Cambo can help with. So traditionally, you know, you taught us in the manual, you know, the Panema, the clouds, you know, so the moods or something's just not quite flowing in your life and you don't know why. And then the, the amazing immune benefits and the detox and the purging and then the energy and the fertility that it can be used for. I've got two sure. fertility resources. So some of the, the benefits are incredible when you read about them. So there's many, many benefits for Cambo. First and foremost, Cambo is not for everybody, right? If anybody has any heart issue whatsoever, they, they, they please, please do not put Cambo on yourself. Do not ask somebody to put Cambo on you and do not put a Cambo on anybody. It's, there's a lot of contraindications and it could be fatal. It could yeah. be very fatal, and 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 you have to be very very careful with these indications. The benefits um, are the following: first and foremost, Cambo has sixteen different peptides in it, and if we we know that peptides are the building blocks of amino acid, but peptides go even deeper. And one of the amazing things about peptides is that they're able to permeate, uh, uh, penetrate a cell wall and go into Pass the, pass the membrane and go into the nucleus. So they're able to go into the nucleus of the virus or the disease. Um, Cambo can help everything with um, arthritis all the way to, I have seen a woman that had stage two breast cancer completely be healed with uh, Cambo. We also worked with this uh, woman that had um, leukemia. She had leukemia, and which is uh, really, you know, profound, uh, heavy, and she was able to heal her leukemia with Cambo. Obviously, it's not done in one, you know, one session. It's not done in two oh, sessions. Shit. It's a treatment plan that they have to be sitting with Cambo for quite a while, but they were very, very healed. Another amazing benefit for Cambo is Lyme's disease. I don't know if you have Lyme's disease in Europe as much as you do in oh, the United gosh. States. Yeah, in Ireland, you know, I can, I know, you know, quite a few people who've had it or who have it. Yes. So it's very good for Lyme disease. Um, it's very good if, as Melanie's mentioned, for Panema. Panema is a word from the Matseis, um, jungle Spanish. That means deep, heavy fog. Like if you're, you know, walking around in life saying, oh, I don't have any luck. You know, it's one negative thing after another negative thing. I can't get myself out of this hole. That's Panema. And what you have to do is that you have to shed and release that energy. And Cambo is a very good purger to be able to do that. It also cleans your, it, Cambo works on three bodies. So we have our spiritual body, our emotional body, and our physical body. Cambo works on the spiritual body to be able to be connected with source. Yeah, uh, exactly what the work that Melanie and Paul do to be able to connect with source in a very, very beautiful way um, to be in tune with source, to be in tune with cre the creator, to be in tune with nature. And then it works on our emotional body, our emotional body um, from all the trauma that we received as children or adolescents. Um, nobody's gone through an easy childhood. So it allows us to purge those heavy things, past relationships, um, insecurities, anxiety, PTSD. This is amazing for PTSD. So it works on that level. And then the other, the last thing that it does, it works on a very physical label, uh, level. So to be able to clear, you know, um, 
you know, if somebody that has been in the past a heavy drinker, is still a heavy drinker, or a heavy smoker, or, you know, eating too many fish and chips or, or puddings, yeah, it allows you to get rid of all of that, those toxins that you've put in your body. So it really is miraculous. I believe, and I can, you know, please nobody quote me on this one, but this is just me guessing. Every time that you do a Cambo ceremony, I honestly believe that you extend your life by five years. I've seen people purge cancer, like yes. literally put cancer in buckets. I've seen people purge heavy metals. I've seen people purge just black, like tar coming out of their mouths. And I'm sure she, you've seen some of those purges as well. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really amazing to see how people can clean their bodies through this miraculous sacred medicine. Yeah, no, thanks a million. And I'm just, when you were talking there, it's always, I'm sure she won't mind us mentioning her, but Joanna's story of the arthritis and, you know, the way she was on the, you know, the walkie thing and then dancing mm -hmm. in the end just makes me happy every time I watch it. Um, yeah. yeah. Melanie's referring to one of our students called Joanna and she's, uh, she's also from the island. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, she actually, she boarded the flight on a wheelchair. She had to be wheelchair to the airplane. And yeah. by the time she was, by the time she was finished with the course, she was dancing. Yes. Yeah, it's so it's so beautiful, that story. It's just yeah. amazing. And, and she uh, went to the Amazon with us to do the dance course. Yeah, I, I was, I was moved by that video. Actually, it looked incredible really no, no. amazing beautiful, yeah beautiful really really good so um omar it's really wonderful so you're coming to ireland end of november the 24th to december 2nd and you're also doing two days tepes kuwaiti am i saying that right tepes, tepes kuwaiti yeah. on the uh, second and third in Tullamore County, so just tell people a little bit about that amazing amazing medicine which i've only done twice and found it incredible <laughs> um so typical we day uh, let me first start with yeah so we are going to bring um the beautiful green frog not physically but the spirit of the frog to the green isle so i'm really really looking forward to spending some time in ireland and um bringing campbell there and to me ireland's always just been such a very powerful country and with very powerful con um, people with a lot of um with a lot of medicine i i honestly believe that ireland is is an island of medicine all on its own and I'm also going to be bringing this beautiful medicine called Tepescoite. Tepescoite comes from the Mayans. It comes from the Yucatan Peninsula. I lived there for 18 years and worked very hand in hand with the Mayans. And it's um, it's a beautiful medicine that allows you to go to the center of the earth. It's a Pachamama medicine. It's um, a very transformative uh, medicine that allows you to open your heart, that allows you to connect. It's um, remembrance. It's remembrance. And it comes from uh, the root of a tree and a bark. And I'm sure Melanie later will uh, share our webpage with you for Quantum Soul Journey. And um, the amount of healing that takes place with this medicine is just very profound as well. Um, so I'm excited to be uh, working or, or, yeah, I'm excited to be, yeah, working with both of these beautiful medicines and aligning with the energies of Ireland with this. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. Yeah. And just to, to recap, so the story about you, the man, the indigenous man past this lineage of the Tepes to you and the, you're like one of only seven people on the planet with the lineage of, and it nearly died out, this method you use, isn't it? It's very right. Very so, so this, um, so, so I used to work, so uh, being a cave diver, I used to work with the Mayans in the jungle and I never understood, you know, how they were so connected. I always thought it was through cacao. How do they know about the concept of zero? How are they amazing astrologers? You know, how do they know how to build every pyramid on an energy grid? Like, so <clears throat> much later. I went to Mexico because I had heard of this medicine and I wanted to try it because I knew I wanted to purge, um, Previously, I had a very, uh, let's call it a scarcity mindset. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't have enough money to retire. I don't have enough money for my son's college. You know, I got to cut, cut coupons. 
you know, I can't afford this, I can't afford that. So I knew I had to work on that. Another thing was I knew somewhere in my father's lineage that there was just something not right. I don't want to call it, you know, there was some juju back there. I'll just put it that way. There was just it something was totally not right. Or. <laughs> yeah, there was some just juju there because we don't know what our great, 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 great grandfather did. Yeah. We don't know if they did great things or bad things, you know, we yeah. just cross our fingers that they were, you know, honest. I have mixed lineage. <laughs> I had to clean it all up. <laughs> you're a mutt. Yeah, you're a mutt. <laughs> you're a Gomez. Yeah, sorry to interrupt so, you. Yeah. So, um, so that's why I went down and sit with the medicine. And the first time I, I went down there, I interviewed the shaman. And he's like, oh, you know, interesting. I've never been interviewed before. I'm like, yeah, we're about to step into something very powerful, very sacred. I want to know who you are. And he and I explained him my story and he goes, do you know why you're here? And I said, yes, I'm here to work on these two things. He's like, no, you're here to be initiated. Oh, so he said, yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. So I first sat with the medicine a bunch of times and he said, yep, very, you know, just as I thought. And he took me to the head shaman and he said, you know, well, this medicine has been in hiding for a long time and we've been waiting for the people to come to be initiated and we want to initiate you. And I went through all of this stuff with the head shaman and I was initiated. And present day, only, you know, maybe eight people, maybe seven, eight, nine people serve this medicine. And um, I would say a total of maybe 600 people present day have tried this medicine. So not a lot of people have tried this medicine. It's not like these other medicines that, you know, Hollywood is doing. No, this is a medicine that is very unique. And, you know, and if the medicine calls you or if, you've, if you're even listening to this and you don't sit with this medicine, then you're missing a grand opportunity. Yeah, and there's very limited places. So I know it's going to be full both days. There's only 10 places a day. Um, and so I'll post the details below. And Omar, just to say as well, you know, when I did it, I also found it was so strong what it showed me. So I remember you saying, don't try to interpret it too much from the mind. And I sat with it and it came intuitively. It came intuitively. And I'm so glad I've left so long because that journey was connected with me with the red rose and deep healing. And it's, wow. like, it's been interlinked with some of this journey that I, I've had. And I, oh, I feel so blessed to have all this help from spirit and, and the community around us, you know, to, to help. Because we both, me and Paul have really asked for that. We're like, heal our deepest wounds, please. And, I don't want to go half measures here, but the medicines that you have, both these medicines, if if the people watching, if you really want to heal and you really want to know why you're here, I, I can't recommend Omar and his medicine more. And I just ask you to open your heart and to to listen to to listen to it and to ask. We'll ask now me and Omar will ask the frogs to send out the jumping frogs <laughs> 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 and the, the signs and the intuition so that the the ancestors in heaven can can bring the right people to the course for you. And, um, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Omar. Is is there anything else you would like to add? Every country needs healing, and every society and a to be able to bring this. And and if you're thinking about this, here's my thing: if I can help three people those three people are going to help nine people and those nine people are going to help so many other people right it's just and it's just about helping out people not only doing the healing but for yourself but also this is how we change the world right this is how things change and if we can all heal collectively and together and work with each other and help each other be a better mother, be a better father, be a better brother. You know, things start changing. Yeah. And it's a ripple effect. It is truly a ripple effect because it's all energy. And if you're thinking about becoming a Campbell practitioner or even just curious about it, you know, the, the, the best thing that can happen is that you're going to get healed. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get healed. Right. Yes. So, 
So yeah. it's a it's a win win situation. It's a win win situation, and um, Melanie's going to be there, and Anya's going to be there, and Joanna's going to be there. Three practitioners, three Irish practitioners that have already sat with the medicine, that have already trained, that are practitioners, and they're going to be there assisting and helping and giving a lot of love. And it's just going to be a beautiful community, a beautiful tribe, and it's going to be some beautiful work. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much, Omar. I think that's that's fantastic. And uh, you'll be bringing Cambo sticks and Mapacho, won't you, over? Perfect. Sure, sure. Yeah, perfect. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.